All right, well, welcome back to the shop here. Today we're going to be talking about some good old stuff that uh, you get to deal with quite a few times out of the year. And that's going to be your license plates. So now let's just... There, perfectly clean spot. And you know how those good old fashioned things are. The big. It's like a lot of people kind of wonder why a lot of, well, almost all states have to do the something like a five to seven year get a brand new uh, license plate. Like Minnesota didn't really used to have to uh, get plates too often, but now they're set in the seven year cycle. And then you got Nebraska. They've kind of got the same, same thing. Every few years you gotta get another plate. Then you get another plate. So you kind of It's like the strange thing with Nebraska is they drastically change their plate every year. Minnesota, they'll just do something weird like uh change the explore to one year they just put uh their website on it. And it stays pretty much the same basic concept. Sometimes there's a little more blue coming through over there, but Nebraska changes everything. But the other thing that I found interesting with Nebraska is they're ones that I almost want to say it's the only, well, it's the only one I know of that puts the weird county number on it. It's like in later years, you can tell they went back, they went to the uh, three letters, three numbers tile. But even when they did that, all the rest of the counties outside of, what is it, uh, Lancaster and Douglas or something like that, basically Lincoln and Omaha, uh, they still run the county number. And these county numbers were back who knows how long. They uh, gave you a number based on your population. So number two was Lincoln. Number one was Omaha. So that's kind of how that went. And there's always, there's always controversy with Nebraska because uh, most of the time they let... Um, they have some sort of online voting or something like that where the residents get to vote on the next uh, plate design. And a lot of times they end up with something really terrible. And it's like one of the years, I believe before, right when this one was being voted on, they voted in some stupid, uh, super boring thing, and they actually uh, redid the vote and ended up with this one. Well, this year, they've gotten and done some really crappy stuff, but anyways, there's a bunch of different reasons why they end up having you do the uh, five to seven year rule even on the uh, tax exempt and commercial trucks and that type of stuff. Um, it basically comes down to someone claims that uh, the reflective coating on these plates only lasts uh, five to seven years. So they pretty much put in place for your obvious safety that they need to be uh, done every five to seven years. Well, strangely enough, 
in many states they have found out that 3M, which is the maker of the reflective, protective stuff on these plates, was pretty much behind getting them passed. So, like Minnesota, it used to be pretty much you had it for your lifetime, just a single plate. Now, every five to seven, they redo that. And also, as you can tell, most every place has gone away from the uh, embossed to just the flat print. But yeah, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. So essentially, 3M is behind the whole thing of five to seven years, redo your license plates just so they sell more plates, get more money, you know, the, the same old, same old. But, yeah, anyways, license plate stuff uh, differ from state to state. Minnesota, it's a license to the car. So when you sell the car, the plates go with it. Whereas in Nebraska, if you sell your car, you can keep your plates and put it on a different vehicle. So you can buy a new car, take your old plates off your old car, put it on your new car, and voila, you get your plates on there. So it's kind of different, but anyways, the big thing uh, for this year is this little the golden plate here which had I don't know I think that's goldenrod and some I don't know what that was I'm being brain damaged here anyways uh, that's a state bird didn't really grow up here so it's not rolling off my tongue very fast <laughs> But uh, I believe the goldenrod is something like the state flower, so something that represents uh, the state. This here, you can obviously tell it was state and the whole little prairie road thing. That was kind of a boring plate. Had this one. This went off the whole sandhill crane thing, which is big in central Nebraska. Then this one did the Chimney Rock and the uh, Lincoln Capital Skyline look. So, but uh, this most recent year they went uh, away from away from this one and the wonderful governor and crew decided to skip the whole uh, voting on a plate and just chose a random plate which is pretty much terrible looking it's probably one of the more boring license plates I've seen in a long time but then of course there's a bunch of states out in like New York that doesn't have super nice ones but let's see if we can get a this is a picture of a random car they walk by in the parking lot. It's like you can see here this uh it's not focusing very well on the on the cell phone screen. <laughs> Imagine that. Let's wake that thing back up. Okay. Come on, put everything away. Alright, well anyways, right here in the center is a picture of the like sower statue that is on our state capitol but you can tell that it was designed for the three letter three number style because uh, when you get to this county plate so we got the 14 county then their letters start right on top of the only interesting part of the uh, license plate. Although I do kind of like the uh, kind of like the dash in there where it's actually a state outline. But to think this was supposed to be a 
somewhat celebrating their sesquicentennial or whatever. It's like 150 years or something like that. Yeah, you do the addition. But, anyways, it ends up being quite the boring license plate, and I was kind of grumpy about it, uh, mainly because of the previous version of it, which looked like some random weirdo trying to, well, do stuff. You can look that up. Uh, <laughs> see what the uh, original uh, Nebraska plate was supposed to look like. But... I thought they were a disaster, and then when you uh, look at the specialty plates, those were always starting at 70 bucks, and they weren't anything special either. But then this year, a real wonderful year, they uh, actually came out with a different license plate. So, like this is the Mountain Lion con Conservation Plate. So as you can tell, it's got the Mountain Lion there. It's got your numbers. Covered up a few numbers just, just because. You can find too much stuff out from uh, license plate searches. and We all know nobody needs... Nobody needs to know that information. <laughs> Or if they do, let's make it more difficult. Because you never know uh, what type of crazy stuff I'm going to videotape. So, this is the uh, plates that I got for the Tiburon, the Raider. And next week we'll get them for uh, the girlfriend's car. But it's a much nicer design. And it's just all around more kick-ass. And it really just costs five bucks extra. I think they tacked on like another two dollars for the convenience of ordering it online. So eight dollars. It's like you pay the five dollars every year when you go in the DMV. But that extra money goes to uh, conservation education or something along those lines. So, all in all, if you live in Nebraska and you think of it about a month before you actually need them, uh, feel free to order up these guys. I think the extra, extra money goes to a good cause and you get a much better looking plate. Something you can be proud to put on your car or at least not embarrassed to. <laughs> well, anyways, that's the... Well, that's the uh, whole license plate thing. Everything's... Every state's uh, different, and... It's like ours on your poor little pickup trucks here. You have to have a commercial truck, which causes issues if you're there's been a couple of reports of people when they drive through a different state that says uh, something like uh, trucks 55 mile an hour everybody else 75 and they're driving their pickup truck uh, doing the 75 and they get pulled over and the officer asks them why aren't you going the speed limit for trucks you got the commercial plates but only downside that I see there, so. Anyways, that's my bit on lesson plates. So, yep, you need them, so go get them.